Hey everybody, it's a quick project share. I made a humongous chunky charm, I guess you could call it. But in reality, I'm probably going to take these off as I need them. I just like to keep them all together on one thing. I'm going to hang this somewhere. And if I need any of them for other projects, I'll just top them off because they do come off easily. But this one is pretty much Halloween themed, at least some of them. Other ones don't not really Halloween themed, they just kind of go like this one here and I made it really cool um, chunky charm here. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I'm trying to do a fast video and I don't have too much time. I have to get ready for some things and yeah so I'm just going to go over it. This part here was from a necklace, this whole bit here and then I just added made my own little charm here and added that to it. This is a Michael's key that I put a bead on top with some um, E6000 and then I made this kind of a dangle here with the little skull from Barbara from our school swap and then this here this part actually comes off of an industrial sheet piece that looks like this and you'll see the rest of it in here too looks like that I use this part this part and then this this chain here so here is oops, sorry, the other part and it's holding my skeleton hand which I screwed on this um, I forgot what you call it I'll show you real quick this is from the Dollar Tree actually it's one of these it was the only way I was going to make that hand a little dangle so it dangles see and then I added that. This is from another uh, necklace here. It actually comes like this. And this is what's left of my necklace. Most of this was covered with that. And let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? I showed you that one already. I showed you that. Did I show you all the charms already? Yeah, I think I did. Most of the stuff used on here does come from Michaels, unless it was given to me. This large part up here is a industrial sheet piece, I believe. And I added this plastic spider, which is from that spider webbing stuff. It comes with a few spiders stuck in there, and it's actually ring. You cut the back off. What I did was I put some glossy accents on the back of him, and then with my hot glue, I kind of glued down his legs a little bit. And then I... Um, passed over the hot glue with all the strings that they usually come you know usually we're trying to get rid of those hot glue strings but with this one it's really cool because it looks like his web come on doesn't want to focus well in the pictures I hope you can see it and then this is just a um, Tim Holtz swivel clasp and everything got attached to that chain off of that industrial sheet piece. And I left the whole chain whole. I might add more to this. And like I said, I'll probably be removing some and using them on projects. So this is just more to hold them all together. But that's what it looks like. I thought it was kind of a Halloween, a shabby Halloween or chic Halloween charm for the occasion. Um, well that's about it, just an FYI, I won't be around too much, I'm going to be off, offline Thursday through Sunday of next week, so my exhibit shop will be closed during those days, and I probably won't have much access to the internet, so if there's anybody thinking of getting anything from my blog shop, I would suggest you wait until I come back because I might not be able to send you any um, files while I'm gone. So just so you know, yep, I'm going on vacation finally. Yay! So, Alright, thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.